Oh, God, I'm going mad here. We better have some What's On news. Uniting our community on 105 FM. Canon FM. What's the buzz? Tell me what's happening. 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 Right then, girls and boys, ladies and gentlemen, uh, what can you go and see tonight, I hear you ask? Well, um, as Theatre Cluid's new season has just kicked off uh, with a brand new version uh, of Anton Chekhov's Uncle Vanya, uh, and it's a brand new version, as I say, by acclaimed Welsh playwright Peter Gill, uh, a collaboration between Theatre Cluid and Sheffield Theatres, beautifully directed, as always, uh, by artistic director Tamara Harvey. Uncle Vanya tells the tale of how polite people go stir-crazy in the middle of nowhere uh, when they drink too much and don't have enough sex. Now you're interested. It's a fantastic ensemble piece, but uh, for me, a special mention uh, must go to Jamie Ballard, who plays uh, Uncle Vanya. And uh, I'm not sure, to be honest, but I've never seen a more proficient performer. It's, it's actors like Jamie Bullard that makes you feel, as an audience member, you almost feel a bit safe. Do you know what I mean? Anytime they're on stage, you feel okay when they're on stage with you. Brilliant. But brilliant from everybody. And, uh, and I popped up on Tuesday night for the press night. And, uh, and I caught a word with uh, actor Oliver Dimsdale. And uh, here's what he had to say. My thoughts on Chekhov are... You approach him with... A little bit of trepidation. You yeah. think there's so much history behind it, people, uh, 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 and people are constantly saying he's so great, he's so great. And then you sort of come across the script, and in particular Uncle Vanya, and you think here are uh, like pockets and bubbles of, of of personalities who don't appear to be going anywhere. Yeah. Uh, they're all universally sort of all disappointed with their lot. But what's what's so fascinating and brilliant about about Gill's translation about Vanya about Chekhov is 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 that he he manages to sort of not make something which is too inward or in, 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 introspective at all. You have a person, every person in, in there thinks they've failed, but they're quite strangely beautiful in, in their, their desire to want to kind of to change their circumstances as well. You, know? yeah. you sort, of, sort, of, sort of go down the pub, you um, bingo hall, ferry, uh, kind of a football game. You don't find people weeping and weeping and weeping. You find, find, find people who are up against it on a, a daily basis, but, but people who are really willing to, uh, to try to change their lot through work, through life, through their relationships, and, and all of the, the, these uh, people's personalities burn with powerful, strong sort of desires to try to change their lot. You know, you, yeah. Even the Professor Serebriakov, is someone who might be looked upon as being the kind of the one character who's the least likable, perhaps. But at the, at, but at the same time, he is someone who's, who's, who's managed to succeed in his life, and then suddenly he's whipped away, he's stuck in the middle of... He's stuck in a country house, miles away from where he was... is, is, is his sort of logical place, and simply wants to have a bit more of that. And, and he's married someone who's young, he's beautiful, you have you know, like, you know, the character of Astroff, you know, he's, he has a sort of a, a passionate desire to try and change things. But yeah. His problem is that he is, he's kind of stopped by, by the forces of, of society around him. He's stopped by, by his job. He's stopped by, by the fact that he's relentlessly had to basically, uh, try to exist as a human being despite cutting people's legs off on a daily basis despite trying to save people from typhus diphtheria you know you name it but yeah. he's trying to make a difference although he does say at the start of the play that he is um, uh, his feelings are blunted he, they are well awakened they're well awakened by by, by at first possibly Sonia but then definitely Inanna so yeah yeah. Well, I was going to say to you, because I studied it in college. Oh, did you? And, uh, <laughs> but I didn't realise how sort of witty it was. And yeah. gritty, you know, I mean, I knew it was a gritty play, but I didn't, didn't realise how funny it was. Did you realise how funny it was? Yeah, funny enough, funny enough, the version... I, there is... You read about a lot of things about Chekhov, don't you? You read about the fact that 
it's people it's, it's people looking out of windows whining about ducks going to Moscow and everything that's yeah. three sisters and but but basically um, what 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 I, I I think that he was looking to get was some sense of um, how absurd we are how absolutely absurd we are you know we are um, we we might veer one sort of veer, veer maybe one second from from laughing about laughing uproariously about something and then suddenly we're weeping about something we are we are, we are completely yeah. ludicrous and absurd we want, we want we want to be able to think about our lives as being these kind of these Hollywoodization of sort of of humanity but basically we are uh, pretty absurd in our day to day lives and what Chekhov is trying to do and did so so incredibly successful was to just to write about kind of little pockets of truth and within that uh, the greater mosaic of that you you then have more than just a slice of life. You have you have you have people 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 who listen to each other, people who don't listen to each other, people who are in love with each other, people who don't respond to that. And whatever ones of the main ones that he did, um, uh, Vanya and Three Sisters and and the Seagull, and he properly manages to yeah to give us more than a slice of life for that. Yeah. And and it should really be funny, you know. Konstantin Stanislavski, apparently the first productions of the Seagull that he did were interminably long. They're incredibly long, mind you, who's working on a system uh, at the time in Moscow, which, which which lent itself to people being incredibly obsessed with realism and naturalism and were massive, massively devoid of humour. And, and apparently Chekhov managed to, uh, to see the production. And he was disappointed. He wanted the humour to be there. He wanted people to find it funny. Yeah. And we feel as if we have... A kind of a handle maybe on just a little bit of the humour that he was wanting to get inside his plays yeah, yeah. in the show hopefully so there you go uh, that is uh, Oliver Dimsdale uh, and he is performing at the moment in the uh, the fantastic quite fantastic Uncle Vanya playing up at Theatre Cluid until the 14th of October so you've still got another another couple of weeks to go and see that right uh, tickets are from £10 to £25 depending on your status and uh, your age I presume uh, the box office at Theatre Cluid as always 01352 701 521 that's 01352 